Welcome to episode 12, an extended feature exploring the work of Sufi mystic and poet Rumi. You're listening to the Sacred Poetry Podcast, brought to you by Whole Self Healing Center. Thank you for tuning in. We're celebrating National Poetry Month each day this April, featuring audiobook selections from the 1989 anthology of Sacred Poetry, edited by Stephen Mitchell, The Enlightened Heart. Throughout the month, you'll be treated to ecstatic poetry from around the world, across various cultures and religions, spanning 25 centuries of spiritual thought. Today is April 12th, 2022. Sufi mystic and poet Rumi, born in what is now Afghanistan, was the founder of the Mevlana, the ecstatic dancing order known in the West as the Whirling Dervishes. Translations of his work into English by Robert Bly and Coleman Barks have brought these beautiful poems to a new generation of contemporary spiritual seekers. Here are 13 of his most beloved poems, read by Coleman Barks and Jacob Needleman. Rumi, read by Coleman Barks and Jacob Needleman. Don't grieve. Anything you lose comes round in another form. The child weaned from mother's milk now drinks wine and honey, mixed. God's joy moves from unmarked box to unmarked box, from cell to cell, as rainwater down into flower bed, as roses up from ground. Now it looks like a plate of rice and fish, now a cliff covered with vines, now a horse being saddled, It hides within these, till one day it cracks them open. Part of the self leaves the body when we sleep and changes shape. You might say, last night I was a cypress tree, a small bed of tulips, a field of grapevines. Then the phantasm goes away. You're back in the room. I don't want to make anyone fearful. Hear what's behind what I say. Da dum dum da dum da da dum. There's the light gold of wheat in the sun, and the gold of bread made from that wheat. I have neither. I'm only talking about them, as a town in the desert looks up its stars on a clear night. Morning, a polished knife blade, the smell of white camphor burning. The sky tears his blue Sufi robe deliberately in half. Daylight Rumi drags his dark opposite out of sight. A happy Turk comes in, a grieving Hindu leaves. The king of the Ethiopians goes. Caesar arrives. No one knows how what changes, changes. One half of the planet is grass, the other half grazing. A pearl goes up for auction. No one has enough, so the pearl buys itself. We stand beside Noah and David and Rabia and Jesus and Muhammad. Quietness again lifts and planes out, the blood in our heads gliding in the sky of the brain. When grapes turn to wine, they long for our ability to change. When stars wheel around the North Pole, they are longing for our growing consciousness. Wine got drunk with us, not the other way. The body developed out of us, not we from it. We are bees, 
and our body is a honeycomb. We made the body. Cell by cell, we made it. Totally conscious, and apropos of nothing, you come to see me. Is someone here, I ask? The moon, the full moon is inside your house. My friends and I go running out into the street. I'm in here, comes a voice from the house, but we aren't listening. We're looking up at the sky. My pet nightingale sobs like a drunk in the garden. Ring doves scatter with small cries. Where? Where? It's midnight. The whole neighborhood is up and out in the street, thinking the cat burglar has come back. The actual thief is there, too, saying out loud, Yes, the cat burglar is somewhere in this crowd. No one pays attention. Lo, I am with you always means when you look for God, God is in the look of your eyes, in the thought of looking, nearer to you than yourself or things that have happened to you. There's no need to go outside. Be melting snow. Wash yourself of yourself. A white flower grows in the quietness. Let your tongue become that flower. I have lived on the lip of insanity, wanting to know reasons, knocking on a door. It opens. I've been knocking from the inside. Forget your life. Say, God is great. Get up. You think you know what time it is? It's time to pray. You've carved so many little figurines. Too many. Don't knock on any random door like a beggar. Reach your long hand out to another door. Beyond where you go on the street. The street where everyone says, How are you? And no one says, How aren't you? Tomorrow, you'll see what you've broken and torn tonight, thrashing in the dark. Inside you, there's an artist you don't know about. He's not interested in how things look different in moonlight. If you are here unfaithfully with us, you're causing terrible damage. If you've opened your loving to God's love, you're helping people you don't know and have never seen. Is what I say true? Say yes quickly, if you know, if you've known it from before the beginning of the universe. All day and night, music. A quiet, bright reed song. If it fades... We fade. You are the notes, and we are the flute. We are the mountain. You are the sounds coming down. We are the pawns and kings and rooks you set out on a board. We win or we lose. We are lions rolling and unrolling on flags. Your invisible wind carries us through the world. Out beyond ideas of wrongdoing and rightdoing, there is a field. I'll meet you there. When the soul lies down in that grass, the world is too full to talk about. Ideas, language, even the phrase each other doesn't make any sense. The drunkards are rolling in slowly. Those who hold to wine are approaching. The lovers come, singing from the garden, the ones with brilliant eyes. 
The I don't want to lives are leaving, and the I want to lives are arriving. They have gold sewn into their clothes, sewn in for those who have none. Those with ribs showing, who have been grazing in the old pasture of love, are turning up fat and frisky. The souls of pure teachers are arriving like rays of sunlight from so far up to the ground huggers. How marvelous is that garden where apples and pears, both for the sake of the two Marys, are arriving even in winter. Those apples grow from the gift and sink back into the gift. It must be that they are coming from the garden to the garden. Outside, the freezing desert night, this other night inside, grows warm, kindling. Let the landscape be covered with thorny crust. We have a soft garden in here. The continents blasted, cities and little towns, everything become a scorched, blackened ball. The news we hear is full of grief for that future. But the real news inside here is there's no news at all. When it's cold and raining, you are more beautiful. And the snow brings me even closer to your lips. The inner secret, that which was never born, you are that freshness, and I am with you now. I can't explain the goings or the comings. You enter suddenly, and I am nowhere again, inside the majesty. Praise to the emptiness that blanks out existence. Existence. This place made from our love for that emptiness. Yet somehow comes emptiness. This existence goes. Praise to that happening over and over. For years I pulled my own existence out of emptiness. Then one swoop, one swing of the arm, that work is over. Free of who I was free of presence, free of dangerous fear, hope, free of mountainous wanting. The here and now mountain is a tiny piece of a piece of straw blown off into emptiness. These words I'm saying so much begin to lose meaning, existence, emptiness, mountain, straw, words, and what they tried to say swept out the window down the slant of the roof. You're listening to the Sacred Poetry Podcast, brought to you by Whole Self Healing Center. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs>